Hey everybody, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to Direct Connect on PGATour.com, where you guys, the fans, get to ask the questions and connect directly with our players through our social media platforms. Pleasure to be joined this week by a man who owns 11 PGA Tour victories, eight more on the Champions Tour. John Cook joins us from Fox Chapel in Pittsburgh, site of this week's Constellation Senior Players Championship. How are you, John, and how are the preparations going for the season's third major on the Champions Tour? Everything is uh, A-OK -okay here at Fox Chapel. Just got uh, nine holes in this morning and going to go play the backside this afternoon. But uh, some fantastic old Seth Rayner golf course that's got a lot of pitch. It's uh, wonderful shape. The greens are, you need to pay attention. You have to put in the right spots. And that's what this, uh, that's what this game is built on. And it's, it's so great to play golf courses like this to... Uh, that we remember, that we grew up on, that uh, that you know the greats had played. So it uh, it's great to be here. John Cook fourth in the season-long Charles Schwab Cup point standings, looking to continue a strong season. He's been runner-up a couple times, and was also runner-up to Fred Couples at the Constellation Senior Players last year in a playoff at Westchester. Let's jump into our questions, and the first one comes through the tour report from Chris Snyder. Would a major championship complete your career? He asks, and do you like your chances this week at the Senior Players? Yeah, Chris. It. Uh, I, I. I. feel like I'm a. My. My. My book's not written for sure uh, until you've won a major championship. I had my opportunities on the PGA Tour, at the U.S. Open and the PGA, and of course the British Open. Um, all three, I had chances to to win. Didn't get it done, but. Uh, this is what we have out here. We've got five majors. There's no doubt that major championship, is uh, within my sights, within my grasp. And I think I've put so much pressure on myself to win these majors that uh, I, I've had, I have not relaxed at all out here playing. And, and uh, I, just, I just need to, to go into each one of these weeks prepared to play and relaxed enough that it's like another tournament. And all, all I can do is control myself. And uh, I, I certainly want to add you know, one or two or you know, multiple majors before I'm, I'm, I'm done. Next question for John Cook, who turned professional 33 years ago, by the way, after the 1979 U.S. Amateur. He finished runner-up to Marco Mira that year after winning the U.S. Am the year before. It comes uh, through Facebook from Lark Jones. He wants to know, who were the older pros, John, who mentored you early in your career? I was really lucky. Ken Venturi was my mentor from uh, age 14 on. Um, to pretty much present day, we don't we don't talk a whole lot, but everything that I do on the golf course basically is uh, learned from Kenny, who learned from Byron Nelson and Ben Hogan, just to name drop a couple guys <laughs> that he learned from. So I couldn't couldn't have been luckier with with the people that have uh, that, that taught me how to play golf. Ken Venturi, of course, the U.S. Presidents Cup captain back in 2000. John Cook was the assistant. U.S. Captain to Fred Couples at Royal Melbourne last year. And that's uh, kind of the subject of our next question through Facebook. Would you be in favor of a Champions Tour, Ryder Cup, or President's Cup style format, John, or at least a match play tournament? We've talked about it, yeah. It, uh, it, it's, it's, it's in the talking stage. Uh, I think that there's enough recognizable names on, on both sides, and I think it'd be great. There's, uh, there's so many names now that uh, could field both teams, Hall of Famers, you know, major championship winners on both sides, and I think it would be very good. You find a good, good spot that uh, we all you know, would have a good time and, and put on a great competition. I would love to see it. John Cook, our guest on uh, Direct Connect, a member of the national championship team at Ohio State back in 19. 79. Next question comes through Twitter from Stu McClune. He says, John, what's your secret for great visor hair? <laughs> uh, a great stylist. <laughs> Thanks, Casey, there at, uh, down in Newport Beach. She's, uh, she's my stylist, and uh, I get my hair cut about once every two months. It uh, right, takes man. about five minutes to do, and Casey there at Madison Salon in Newport Beach. Go see her. She's good. There you go, Stu. You might have to cough up a few bucks uh, to upgrade uh, your stylist. That's a suggestion from John's, John Cook, our guest this week, who had a fabulous junior career, amateur career. John won the California State Amateur back in 1975, the USAM in 78, runner-up in the USAM in 79. And uh, Bree Bland, through the tour report, once asked John a question 
about this young generation of players, John, and what your impression is of guys like Patrick Cantlay and Jordan Spieth and Bo Hostler and what type of pros you think they might become. I can really only speak about Patrick. I don't know Jordan very well, and I, I, I know of Bo just because he's a Southern California kid, but uh, I've spent a lot of time with Patrick Cantlay. I like Patrick's demeanor. He's, he's not a 20-year-old know-it-all like a lot of kids are nowadays. He, he's very inquisitive. He wants to learn. He wants to learn how to practice. He wants to learn where to go, how to travel, what to do. Uh, and, and I think that that's very important. No question he's going to be a great player, but there's a lot more to it than just being a great player. I think that uh, knowing Patrick and talking to Patrick just in the last couple weeks, he's in it for the long haul. And that, uh, that, that's great to hear from, from someone so young. It was a successful formula for John Cook, for sure. Produced 11 PGA Tour victories. John was ranked inside the top 10 in the official World Golf Ranking for 45 consecutive weeks over the course of the 1992 and 93 seasons. Next question through Twitter from at the OSU 84. Hey John, do you still have the 1992 Chrysler Fifth Avenue from your victory at the Bob Hope that year? That was a sweet ride. <laughs> no, I actually uh, traded that in and, and got a uh, Durango for my oldest daughter. So uh, that didn't make it out of the parking lot. I traded up and, and uh, we used that Durango for, uh, for quite a long time up in Sun Valley and uh, down in the desert. I was lucky enough to win the Hope Chrysler twice, so I, I got a couple cars out of the deal. So that was fun. 92 was an amazing performance. That was a five-man playoff and you went birdie, 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 eagle in sudden death to win it, right? That's right, and uh, I had to do it because everybody was making birdies everywhere, and, and birdie, wasn't gonna ha birdie wasn't gonna win, I can promise you that. <laughs> well, John Cook looking to win for the ninth time on the Champions Tour this week at the Constellation Senior Players Championship at Fox Chapel in Pittsburgh. It was fun, John, we appreciate your time. Thanks for connecting with us. My pleasure, anytime, thank you.